the mistake that 99% of people make is thinking that they can cure their addiction to scrolling through Instagram Reels or TikTok just by deleting the app. Or, even worse, by using one of these new dumb phones. Now, the problem is, I reckon that these algorithms are some of, if not the most addictive things out there, especially for young people. So, before you go out and buy one of these dumb phones or even delete social media, I think you need to try this solution. Because I managed to reduce the amount of time I was scrolling through Instagram or TikTok just by replacing that with these five energizing activities that I do on my phone instead. So, as always, the timestamps are on screen and are down below in the description. But that's enough hanging around and let's get right into the video. Okay, now what I'm about to say might be quite divisive, so feel free to completely disagree. But at least hear me out first. I think the biggest reason why people resort to scrolling when they're unhappy, overwhelmed or stressed is because they're not thinking of death enough. So as humans, we have this kind of weird thing where we struggle to appreciate that at the end of the day, we're all going to die. It might be tomorrow, it might be in 10 years, or it might even be 70, 80 years away. The thing is, we just never know when that day will come. Oftentimes, we put off things that we really want to do, the goals and dreams that we're really passionate about, because we think we have an unlimited bucket of time left. But if I told you that you or maybe even a loved one was going to die tomorrow, would you keep scrolling? I think probably not. So one of my favorite things to do with that in mind is to have a quick scroll through my contacts. Now, if you're anything like me, you'll have quite a few friends, quite a few contacts, quite a few family members on there that maybe you don't keep in regular contact with. So one of my favorite things to do is type out a message of kind of thanks and of appreciation to these people. Now, look, I don't even have to send a message, but oftentimes when I've got like three quarters of the way through, I find myself sending it anyway. And I think this is just a really wholesome way of appreciating that actually our time on earth is limited. And even though phones are an absolutely fantastic invention, there's probably better things we can do. Okay, and the second productive thing that we can do instead of scrolling mindlessly through social media is a little bit of a weird one. So I need you to bear with me just for one second. So I don't know if many people can relate to me here, but you know sometimes if you've got a load of laundry to do, or maybe you've got a load of dishes that you know need washing at some point, you find it really, really difficult to kind of detach from that and get focused on the task that you need to do in the moment, whether it's working through emails, completing a project for work or school, or even if it's just reading that last chapter. Because you know that there's a load of cleaning or housework or just other chores that need to be done at some point, you can't separate both of the events. So you struggle to do anything because your mind and your attention is constantly going back and forth between those two different areas of your life. And the crazy thing is, this has the exact same effect on our phones. So oftentimes, I think the reason why we resort to scrolling is because we have loads of this, what I'm calling, digital clutter in our phones. So if you're anything like me, you'll just have loads and loads of photos and videos on your phone that aren't actually doing anything. Maybe it's just a random screenshot of your home screen, a poor quality video, or loads of photos of your ex, you don't need any of this on your phone. And it's just contributing to this digital clutter. So one of my favorite ways to reduce this feeling of being overwhelmed is just to take five, 10, 15 minutes when I'm about to go on Instagram and instead open my photos up and go through and just try and clear up a load of those images. Okay, and now for the third thing that you can do instead of scrolling mindlessly through your phone, I think that you're using your music app wrong. And I'm positive that I can prove it. But before I show you how, if you're finding any of this helpful so far, please like the video. And to find out more ways of actually improving your life, make sure you subscribe so that you're never gonna miss a video every time we upload, which is each Monday. So I'm sure you all know that Snapchat has that awesome memories feature where you can look back at, you know, times from five, six, seven years ago and see yourself as a, as a younger kid. This is cool because it gives you a sense of nostalgia. And oftentimes, I think one of the reasons we all go to scroll through social media is to get that little hit of dopamine when we see a TV show reference that we watched when we were a kid, or basically just anything that gives us a sense of nostalgia. I think one of the biggest ways we can actually contribute to that in our life is by using our music app in a very specific way. And here's the thing, I use Spotify, but I don't use playlists. And I don't even listen to albums. Instead, what I'll do is every time I hear a song that I like, maybe that's just walking through the city or scrolling through Instagram or TikTok or indeed anything I just think of, I'll like it. 
And so far, I have almost 500 songs just added to my list of liked songs. And then, one of my favorite things to do when I'm craving that little hit of nostalgia is just to hit shuffle and then play on this kind of list of 500 songs. Because whatever will come on will just transport me through a period of time in my life. And the best thing about this, and what I really recommend you to do as well, is if you have a big trip planned, maybe you're going abroad, maybe you're changing careers, maybe you're just entering a new chapter of your life, one of the best things you can do is like about five or 10 different songs. And then when you're a year, two years, three years, four years down the line, and that song comes on, it will just take you back to that moment in time. I don't think pictures or videos can even do. Now the next thing we can do instead of scrolling through our phone is something I'm sure we can all relate to. And that's because I think one of the biggest, biggest reasons why we go to scroll on social media is because we're bored and we generally just have nothing to do. Now, the best method that I found of managing your time, especially if you're a beginner at this whole productivity stuff, is using something called a crash calendar. Now, if you want a whole tutorial all about this, I'll leave a link to the video down below and see if I can put something on screen. So definitely watch that after this video. But for a very quick overview and the purposes of what I'm talking about now, basically how I manage my time is in this color coded system. And if you're familiar with the channel, you'll know that I'm a big proponent of this idea of the trifecta of goals. We want to be working consistently towards goals and dreams that benefit our health, our wealth, our mindset, which is sort of learning and our relationships. I've sort of added that last one on for the purposes of the calendar, but you get the gist. And then what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I'm planning at least two or three things each week that contribute to these crucial areas of my life. So if I find myself opening social media and I know that it's just because I'm bored, what I'll do is have a look on my calendar to see how my week's looking. In all likelihood, if I'm that bored, something's probably not quite balanced in my life. Oftentimes, normally it's to do with my relationships and I'm a little bit lonely in that moment. So what I'll do is take the time and go and try and schedule something to look forward to in the week. It doesn't even have to be that same day. So I'll text some of my friends, see if they wanna go for dinner, maybe they wanna go do some exercise, go climbing and then that kind of simple action just completely rewires my brain and makes me actually appreciate the kind of situation that I'm in and the freedom that I have to go out and do this fun stuff but scrolling through social media isn't all bad so this final thing that I've included is an alternate will sort of address that so I've spoken about this on the channel before, but I'm really trying to improve my health and improve my fitness. And part of that includes getting as lean as possible and trying to get a six pack by summer. So as a result of that, most of the people that I'm following in terms of influencers on Instagram are kind of in the fitness space. And this isn't necessarily a bad thing because a few times I've caught myself scrolling when I should be at the gym and seeing those influencers doing their exercises, eating really healthily, kind of gives me that inspiration and short-lived motivation to get up, get out the door and go and get some exercise done. But I think the problem arises because oftentimes we're directly comparing ourselves to other people. And in addition to getting a six pack, one of my longer term goals is to eventually fly first class. So this might be a little bit weird, but when I find myself scrolling through social media, looking for inspiration from other people, I then flip that on its head and bring it back to me. And what I'll do instead is I'll go through Google flights and start looking at first class tickets that are completely out of my budget and price range. But in a weird way, it makes this goal feel more attainable. It gives it a sense of purpose and like I can actually achieve it someday. 